sounding the alarm about what the world in the future could look like. Top scientists across the globe have predicted that global temperatures would rise by at least 2.5 degrees Celsius by the end of this century. And this rise is much above the internationally agreed target to limit temperature rise to just 1.5 degrees Celsius from the pre-industrial levels and would cause catastrophic consequences for humanity and the planet at large. Now, the report has been published by scientists at the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, the IPCC. Take a look at this. 80% of the scientists at the IPCC foresee at least 2.5 degrees Celsius rise in global heating above the pre-industrial levels, while almost half of them anticipate this rise to be even higher at 3 degrees Celsius. Only 6% of the scientists at IPCC predicted that the internationally agreed limit of 1.5 degrees Celsius temperature rise will be met. Now, several of the scientists said that they have been left feeling hopeless, infuriated and scared by the failure of the governments world over to act on the matter despite the clear scientific evidence. Scientists have painted a grave picture of what they described as a semi-dystopian future with famines, conflicts and mass migration driven by heat waves, wildfires, floods and storms becoming commonplace. Experts have said that massive preparations to protect people from the worst of the coming climate disasters were now more than just critical. But as per a survey by The Guardian, just a few IPCC experts are hopeful that governments and people across the world would deliver upon what's needed to reduce the intensity. Now, younger scientists were more pessimistic about the climate situation, which could arise in the future. 52% of the respondents aged under 50 said that they were expecting a rise of at least 3 degrees Celsius, while a lesser 38% of respondents above the age of 50 thought the same. 49% of the female scientists that were surveyed thought that the global temperature would rise by 3 degrees Celsius, while the number of male scientists thinking the same was at 38%. But the main reason for failing to tackle the climate crisis, as cited by almost 75% of the respondents, was the lack of political will. 60% of the respondents also blamed the vested corporate interests, such as the fossil fuel industry. A semi-dystopian future that has been predicted if we don't mend our ways. And take a look at this. Let's shift our focus to what's happening in Brazil. A submerged plane and runways underwater in southern Brazil on Tuesday after heavy rain lashed the city of Porto Alegre. A Brazilian president asked Congress on Monday to recognize a state of public emergency due to the heavy rains. Floods have destroyed roads and bridges in several cities, triggering landslides and leaving a path of destruction. The devastating rains have claimed the lives of at least 90 people and left over 130 people still feared missing in the country's southernmost state of Rio Grande do Sul.